Okay, now let's start the episode. Hello boys and girls and welcome back to Kingdom Builders from the Kingdom Builders Lounge. This week, it is week four. It's exciting. We've got so much stuff going on. I love it. It's so much fun. Will, there was something special happening today and I cannot remember what it was. Can you remind me? It is Mothering Sunday. It's did, Mothering did, Sunday. Did you remember to bring the flowers for Mothering Sunday? I did remember to bring the flower. I got some M&S flour. Oh, um, I, meant um, the, I meant the other flower. Uh, no, this is fine. This is fine. It, that we can make a cake or something. I'm going to pop that there. Okay. Oh, dear. Okay. So today we're going to have um, a talk. We're going to have some worship. We are going to um, have a special game. We are going to have a fact for the day. It's all going to be very exciting and not necessarily in that order. But we are first going to worship and I am going to pray. Okay. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you promised that you're always going to be with us. And I pray that we'll have so much fun today learning more about you. In your precious name, amen. TV screen, more famous than a movie star, or a singer with a cool guitar, cause he made all the stars, but there's love in his heart for me and you and everybody, and he's Lord and he's King over everything, and he's got a plan for everybody. Welcome, boys and girls, to today's challenge. Will, how are you feeling about this one? I am feeling as good and as confident and as ready as I can be. As much as you looked very silly in the last challenge, you actually did quite a good job. I did all right. I um, yeah. So you, I'm feeling confident for you on this one. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you are. So the aim of the game is to move the Smarties from one glass to the other using the stat straw and your own breath. Can you breathe? Yes, I think I can. That's good. Okay, are you ready? I, I am ready. In three, in two, 
In one. Smarties. Got 30 seconds. Oh. This really is prime entertainment. I mean, forget the Olympics this summer. Just watch this on repeat. Who's Usain Bolt? I don't care. I just, I just like watching Will. Oh, you're doing quite well. He's on a roll. He's on a roll. You've got three seconds. Two, one, and stop. How many did you get, Will? I got one, two, three, four. Wow. That blew me away. For sure. For sure. Um, that was very underwhelming. I'm, I'm sorry for letting you guys After the, the heights of last week's excitement and the week before, I really think we've undersold this one. But it's okay, because next we have a joke to cheer you up. But it's a fact. <laughs> but it's a fact. Next we have a fact to cheer you up. Okay, boys and girls, are you ready for the fact today? Will, are you ready for our question? I am very ready for our question. Okay. I'm trying to raise my eyebrows to raise intrigue there, but it doesn't matter. Okay, the question is, how many friends does the average person have? Is it 40, 50, or 60? Ooh. Well, I'm going to go off you as the average adult. <laughs> so... I would have thought less than that, but no, I'll go, I'll go 50, I'll go 50. Okay, boys and girls, what do you think? Well, the answer is 40. Oh. But we're, we're not the average adult. I'm basically friends with Will and then Matt behind the camera. I think Matt's my friend. He's shaking his uh, head. He's shaking his head. <laughs> We've got Will. It's okay. Okay. If you want to find out how that links to the Bible story today, then carry on watching because we're going to find out right now. Slapstick Theater. David and Jonathan. This is Jonathan. Hey! Who was the son of King Saul and a warrior in Israel's army. This is David. Hey! Who would later become the king of Israel. All right. After David defeated a great giant, he was brought before King Saul and he met Jonathan. They immediately became friends. Yeah! And Jonathan made a pact with David and showed him that by giving David his robe and weapons. Oh, hang on. From that time on, David was successful in all he did. Oh! And King Saul became jealous of David and very angry. Saul wanted his servants and Jonathan to get rid of David, but because Jonathan loved his friend David, he warned David of what his father was planning. All right. Jonathan went to his father, King Saul, and talked him out of harming David. Mm. Okay. For a time, David was safe from King Saul's plans. Phew. But not long after, the king's jealousy and anger came back, and he tried to kill David. Whoa! David got away, and his friend Jonathan came to help him. I got it. Jonathan tried again to talk his father out of hurting David. No. But now King Saul was convinced he needed David to be gone. Jonathan was angry and sad that his father would not let his friend go. <sighs> and he knew that David would have to go into hiding and run from King Saul. Jonathan met David one last time, and the two cried and said their goodbyes. <laughs> Jonathan told David to go in peace and that they had a special bond in God's name. Then David left and lived a life on the run from King Saul and Jonathan returned to the town. Even though they were separated, the two were the best of friends and were an encouragement to one another. Yeah! Today's story is the story of two best friends, David and Jonathan. Do you have a best friend? Why don't you turn to a person next to you and you have approximately, I don't know, 14 seconds to tell them all about your best friend. Three, two, one, go.
David and Jonathan did everything together. They loved each other so much. I reckon they had sleepovers, they went for drinks down at the local cafe, they played football together, I don't know what they did, but they did everything together. And Jonathan was a bit of a special person. You see, his dad was King Saul, the king of Israel. Jonathan was a prince. David, though, he was also really special. You see, God had a special plan for David. He would one day be king. And in order to prepare David to be king, God made David really, 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 really good at all that he did. You see, the issue with this, though, was that King Saul saw David getting really good at everything. And Saul got jealous and he got angry and he got so angry, he decided he wanted to have David killed, to get rid of him forever. And he asked Jonathan to help him do it. Jonathan said no. You see, Jonathan was willing to sacrifice his route to the throne to, in order to uh, do the right thing and to help his best friend. He is willing to stand up to say no to, in order to do the right thing. You see, doing the right thing isn't always easy. It can be really, really hard, particularly when you don't really know what to do. But, but you know, for, for me and for you, we have the Holy Spirit living in us. And in Ephesians chapter uh, 1, verse 17, it says that, that the Holy Spirit is the spirit of wisdom. He helps us to know what to do. So when, when we don't know what the right thing to do is, we can pray and we can ask God for his wisdom. So let me pray, then we're going to worship. Lord God, I thank you that you help us when we don't know what to do. Would you be reminding us by your Holy Spirit uh, of who you are and what you do? in order to help us to make the right decisions. Amen. Let's worship together. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you. to show
Thank you so much for joining us today, boys and girls. We've had a great day celebrating Mother's Day. We got some flour. It's over there. I need to get the flour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I laughed when that clicked. <laughs> We've had a great day celebrating Mother's Day, haven't we? We've got our flowers, flower. I still can't believe you didn't buy the right sort of flower, but. Uh, there was a misunderstanding, but we'll just, we'll make a cake. We'll okay. make a cake. Okay, well, I'm gonna pray before we finish. Dear Lord Jesus, um, thank you for the example of friendship and uh, of what it means to do the right thing that, that Jonathan is to us. And I pray that as we go through the rest of the week, we'll remember that and always try to do the right thing. We pray that in your precious name. Amen.